just this course, we don't come here very often, um, which is a shame, but it's, it's a fantastic track. The guys that own it uh, race, uh, used to race at a good level. They prepare a lot of tracks around the world. So it's one of the better tracks. Um, very fast, very hard to pass. Um, the start is going to be critical for the riders today, uh, but it should make for a good race. We think, we're biased, but we think our bikes are the best. You know, we, we work very hard through the winter. We have a, a really good package to start with, with the CRF's range. And the riders and the mechanics work very hard to tailor the bikes for what they want. So we feel, overall, we've got an amazing package. Um, the ground, they've mixed um, topsoil in with uh, wood chips, so it creates real deep ruts um, and loads of lines. It's really wide. Uh, it's quite fast, so it makes for really close racing. It's a really long track, so the, the lap times are quite spread out from what we're used to, which means the races kind of get a little bit spread out, but you get bunches of people, um, but the racing is always good. There's a lot more jumps, and the jumps are a lot bigger here than at most tracks. It's a lot roarier and bumpier than most hard pack tracks as well. But other than that, it's not really much too different than any other motocross track. The track's really intense. Uh, the, there's lots of jumps, lots of rhythm sections, and yeah, there's not really much of a let up really. So yeah, it's, it's little mistakes go a big, make a big difference. So hopefully, minimise the mistakes and hopefully bring the title home. Welcome to Custer's Gorse for the final round of the MX National Series. Yeah, this weekend's obviously really important because it's the final one. Got a bit of a gap and I'm just really looking forward to winning the championship. The difficult part comes as with Callum. You know, he's got a shoulder injury right now and he's had that for the last six, seven weeks. And to have that type of injury in a season and trying to compete at a high level with an injury is hard because you spend all week getting better and then you do a motocross race and then you take, it's like taking three steps forward and then four back. So I feel for him. Uh, the bike's really good. I haven't really got anything that I dislike with it. Uh, the cons are it handles real well, and I just feel really comfortable on it. Uh, it's probably the only 250 I've really felt really comfortable with. It helps massively if your parents support you a lot, because obviously you wouldn't be here without your parents and your family. But um, yeah, it makes a big difference when the team's like so professional like Dave and everything. I'm really happy to win the championship. It's been a year and a bit since I won a championship. So yeah, I'm really happy. So good for me going into next year, just with my mindset and everything else. So yeah, I'm really happy. The family, they've been with me, well, obviously from the start. So yeah, I mean, my dad used, really comes with me, my girlfriend comes with me now. Um, before it used to be, the whole family used to come, my sister and my mum, but they've kind of drifted off to their own, could they do another sport, so yeah, it's just me, my girlfriend and my dad that come at the minute, and uh, yeah, so to get here and have the team as well, it's, it's a big family, family orientated scene. I mean, this season has been massive for me really, I've made a big step in the right direction. Last year I was about seventh in the British in the championship, and this year I'm nearly battling for the title so I, over the winter I made a massive step in the right direction and, and in MX Nationals we're uh, well leading into tomorrow I'm eight points in the lead so hopefully a good day tomorrow and I should wrap that championship up and then uh, focus on the British. When I go down to the start I kind of 
I just kind of try and think about the track and the lines, just stuff like that. And I kind of just stretch out my arms a little bit and just nothing major. I just got to try and focus on the track and focus on what I got to do. I just had the first race, it uh, couldn't have gone much better really, I, um, I had a good start, I kind of, I was about four or five riders behind Ando, which is the man who is the closest to me in the championship at the minute, so I kind of held, held back a little bit, try to let things settle down a little bit more, and then I started to close a bit on him, so then I thought I need to get past him and get away as quick as I could really, which I made a quick pass on him, I put a few hard laps down and then uh, managed to break away. Once I got a nice comfortable gap, I kind of held it until the finish. In that race when Jake was behind me, I was a little bit, uh, I didn't quite know what to do because I didn't know if he was sat there just to give me a bit of a brief, like guard me a little bit because obviously Anderson was the one behind him. Uh, we had quite a big, big gap over him, but it's, it's still nice to kind of just know that someone's there just uh, just in case but I spoke to him after and he said he got a bit of arm pump so he, he wasn't actually uh, trying to pass me <laughs> but it it did put me off a little bit because I wasn't quite sure on how it was going to all happen but it, it happened for the better just got to try and try and stick to what I normally do don't let that get to my head uh, kind of like just grab something to eat chill out a little bit go have a little look at the track and then uh, go back down and do it all over again. Having a great team behind you is everything, to be honest with you. Um, you know, at this level, we couldn't just turn up. Even if I had the bike that I've got, if I turned up in a van by myself, it wouldn't be possible. There's so much to racing at the level that we're at. Even racing like um, at lower levels is difficult. You know, you see guys uh, racing locally with their uh, girlfriend and parents coming to help them. But um, at this level, it's so cr uh, crucial. And like, again, I found this year a real good uh, group of people uh, around me and um, keeps it fun. Um, but also, um, you know, they mean business and it's like I say, it's everything. I could never do it by myself, that's for sure. I come to every race just to have fun um, and try my absolute hardest, as, as same as every, uh, every race I go to now and it seems to work. I used to always put pressure on myself to win and to do this and to do that and now it's just like do what I can and enjoy it and make sure that I try the, my absolute hardest, put everything into it on the day and whatever happens, happens. The CRF uh, 450R um, is a real nice bike. Um, I've been on it for 12 months now um, since I signed with Dave Thorpe and um, I really enjoy it. Um, it's, uh, just I seem to fit straight away with the bike. It's a bit slimmer than the bikes I've rode on in the past. Um, and yeah, it just I think it shows in my re results this year, but I just enjoy riding it more than any other bike I've rode in the past. And um, Ryan, uh, Dave Forbes' son, um, builds really nice engines, so it's tailored a little bit to me as well, which helps. But as a bike, I hope I don't change. Um, I enjoy my racing and riding so much more, even at the week and at the weekends. I'm just a happier person, and I put a lot of that down to the bike. This season's been really good. Uh, obviously, this is the last round of the MX National Series, um, and I'm leading it. So uh, this weekend is obviously important for us to do a decent job and. Um, you know, come away with a championship to be honest with you and do whatever it takes to get that because at the end of the day that's what we get remembered for at the end of the season, not just race wins. Um, but I've had good success this year in this championship. Um, 
and um, yeah, I've just had I've had fun, and I'm leading the other championship that we race in as well, and um, got a decent points lead in that. So, um, but I'm not changing anything like uh, the way about it. Just like I said, enjoying myself, trying my hardest, and uh, hopefully it will pay off. Race one was alright, um, I got quite a bad start um, and I was a little bit impatient early on so I kind of like tensed up a little bit because of that but um, as the race progressed I kind of relaxed a bit and um, the tracks changed a lot since we were out in the practice so um, took a bit of learning and you have to kind of flow with a track like this, you can't rush anything so I found that a little bit difficult. Um, but uh, yeah, I started riding better at the end of the race and um, I didn't really realise but when I came back to the track they said I'd won the championship so that's really cool, it's my first ever um, championship I've won as an adult so um, you know it's really good, it's the first time I've competed in this series as well so um, the team as well as myself put a lot into winning this championship as well as the Maxis championship so it's, um, it's very rewarding. Yeah, I feel good about it. You know, it's uh, like I said, it's really it's my first ever um, adult championship I've won, so um, it's a little bit of weight off my shoulders from that. And also, um, you know, I've had to fight hard for it, and it's not like it's come easy. So um, that's really good, and yeah, just just really pleased. It's nice to give the team something back already as well. And um, you know, we've got about six weeks left of the season with the next the next championship, and um, hopefully we can get another one. I just keep Oh, you just got that. Nicely! Yeah, yeah.